Welcome to another GCN Tech home maintenance video. Today we're going to explain how to remove and replace your rear derailleur. Now you're only going to need a few basic tools here to get the job done. You're going to need a 4mm Allen key, a 5mm Allen key, a chain tool to remove the chain, a set of pliers to take the end off of the cable and a Phillips screwdriver to adjust the limit screws when we're setting it back up. Our first job is to remove the chain from the bike. Now fortunately enough this chain has got a quick link in so we can use these pliers here to remove the quick link. Now that the chain is split, we need to make sure to remove the quick links from each side of the chain. Now we've got these, we can set them to the side, ready to be used when we refit the chain at the end. Now carefully un unthread the chain, like so. Try your best not to bang the chain against your freshly painted bike. Remove the chain through the rear derailleur, and again, we can set that on the workbench ready to be refitted later. Our next job, if you've got a mechanical rear derailleur like this one here, is to remove the cable end using our pliers. Now if you've got an electronic derailleur, you'll just have to carefully unplug the cable using the correct tool. Now that we've got the cable end off, we can use our four mil Allen key to undo the cable pinch bolt and then we can remove the gear cable out of the rear derailleur. Now that the cable is no longer attached to the derailleur, we can remove the rest of it here, like so, and then we can get our 5mm Allen key to remove the derailleur from the bike. Straight in here, and then this will be quite tight, so carefully apply a bit of pressure, and then undo this as so. Now that we've got our rear derailleur off, we can reverse the process to refit the part. Now that we've got the derailleur fitted back on the bike, we can get our chain that we set aside earlier and now look to refit it. We can start by threading the chain through the front derailleur and using the cranks to bring the chain round, like so. Once that first half is on, we can take the chain, guide it over the cassette and carefully round, tucked under, through to the top pulley wheel. Find line it up on the pulley wheel Take the chain and push it straight through, taking care to slide it through the correct way onto the lower pulley, like so. Now the chain's refitted to the bike, we can look to refit our quick links that we took apart earlier. One in this end and across. Like that. Now the chain's back in place and secured, we can now take the cable and carefully guide it through the rear derailleur, like so. Guide it through, sliding the end cable into the barrel adjuster, like this. And then guiding the inner cable through the cable clamp, making sure we carefully line it up in the groove. From this point we need to use our formula Allen key again, into there, whilst pulling the cable nice and tight to ensure that there's no slack remaining. Now that we've got the cable refitted and secured nice and tight, we can look to set the high and low limit screws of the rear derailleur. Some rear derailleurs will use a Phillips screwdriver to do this, however this derailleur here uses a 2mm Allen key. So now that we've got the derailleur in the smallest sprocket as you can see here, we can set the high limit screw. This is done using the 2mm Allen key onto this little screw at the back with a H next to it for the high limit and we turn it as so just to see that the top pulley wheel is in line with this lowest sprocket here. Now that we've set the high limit screw we'll have to change gear all the way up into this largest sprocket at the back and this will enable us to set the low limit screw just the same as we did with the high limit. Now that we've shifted into the largest sprocket we can take our 2mm Allen key again and now look to set this low limit screw. Looking from the back, we can see to make sure that this top pulley wheel is in line with the largest sprocket and adjust it 
as required, just like that. Now that we've set the high and low limit screws, we can look to set this B limit screw here, again using our 2mm Allen key, and this is just going to set the distance between the largest sprocket here and the top of the pulley wheel. So that's adjusted using this screw here and turning it as so, and that will change this gap here. There. Now what we're trying to do is about a 5mm gap, so just as so, like that, nice clearance for smooth, precise shifting. Now that we've got our high and low limit screw set correctly, we've got the B limit screw all set, we can now move on to setting the cable tension using this barrel adjuster here. Now our first job here is going to be able to shift all the way down into the lowest sprocket and that will get the bike set up ready to make our first adjustment as we need. Now that we've shifted into the smallest sprocket, we can look to make one gear change and then assess what we need to do next. So here we can pedal, change into the next sprocket up, and as you can see there, that changed gear nice and smoothly. Having changed gear into the other sprocket, now that we know whether the derailleur is moving too far or not far enough, we can fine tune the indexing using the barrel adjuster at the back. If you find that the derailleur is not shifting far enough, that's when you would add tension to the cable. And if you find that the derailleur is over shifting, you'll need to remove some tension from the cable, again winding the barrel adjuster clockwise. So there you have it, you've got your derailleur all correctly set up, it's just a case of one final check of the gears to make sure it all works as it should and you'll be ready to go. I hope you really enjoyed this video and if so, please give it a big thumbs up.